Long the doormat of home design, entryways and hallways are often an afterthought for home buyers who typically spend their money on other rooms. But agents are seeing more value in homes where these traditional spaces have been put to use. In San Francisco, when Gary Loeb and David Fraze host a party in their 1897 home, many guests barely get past the front door. Instead, they gather inside the wood paneled foyer, which has 16 foot ceilings, an original fireplace, and a vintage rug. In Sacramento, California, Randy Reynoso and Martin Camsey removed part of a wall to open up the entryway and create a homey feel. The long staircase in their home now has a custom wrought iron railing and a vintage French chandelier that can be mechanically lowered for cleaning. Mr. Reynoso estimates the foyer cost about $35,000 to create. In Indianapolis, Phil Salisbury created a false hallway using cabinetry with hidden, built-in storage. The hallway cabinets provide much-needed storage space since the condo has many floor-to-ceiling windows. He also worked with designer Chris Short to create a circular entryway with a lowered blue-lit ceiling. Mr. Salisbury estimates that he spent $50,000 on building out the hallway and foyer. In Toronto, Melody Adami says the foyer in her home is the one room that's off-limits to her two young children. The space has an oversized velvet ottoman and art created from metal discs along with a console table for a wow factor when guests enter. Now irked by what they see as wasted space, some homeowners are asking designers to reimagine entryways as versatile spaces that double as dining rooms, dens, and entertaining spaces.